Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tales of Arise. Let's... Okay, let's... Hop right back into whatever this is happening. I still can't get over what we saw happening outside the starship. Yeah... Our planet's really not doing too hot right about now. I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Still, though, I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? Beats me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal. It looks like a... Rena and Dana. We were taught that both worlds were spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heavens. But to think that they lied to us, not only about the Sovereign and the Crown Contest, but also the form of our own... Dohalim. Okay, who's the wise guy that summoned us here? Someone formidable enough to bring our starship along with us. Okay. They must Let's... be here somewhere. Let's find them. That beam of light joining Dana and Rena. That's what it looked like. It... Perhaps it was some kind of directive from the Renan homeworld? Which would mean that whoever's behind all this is on Rena after all. But what? Try to stay calm. With so many factors we don't understand. Mm. What is it? No, it's just so much for me making. You made it this far. You notice something, you change it. That's all anyone can do. Okay. But you can't stand. Do want a quick make sure. A lot of potted plant. A lot of like bio plants. And... Uh. Okay. Mage. Hmm. Whoa. Again, what is with like the plant like features? Because the planet's a flower? Like a plant? Is that why? This place looks a lot yeah, like very that room we saw like. back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? Bizarre. What's that? Uh that's a red woman. Uh, it's one of those! A red woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was a trap? Hmm. Is it... It doesn't look like, like the move. same state Alfin was in? Maybe? Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? Yes, I was. <laughs> that is correct. It is unusual for me to have unexpected guests these days. It can talk. Yeah, that's a good question. What are you? Robots? Have wrecked 35. Have wrecked 35. Is that your name? Correct. <sighs> what is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red Women? Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? We did not come to this place by choice. Our ship was brought here against our will, by a group of red women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the red women, pulling their strings? Uh... What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. Oh goody, more riddles. Do you think we can trust this thing? Like it or not, it may be your best chance at a ticket out of here. Let's at least hear it out.
I shall now answer your questions. Helganquil. We are Helganquil. The red women you encountered previously are a form of disguise we employ from time to time, but not our true form. Helganquil? You are on Dake Faisal, oh, a celestial base which drifted here by accident. The will of Rena's great spirit no longer reaches us here. Since my sudden separation from the great spirit's influence, I have used any and all means to extend my lifespan. As I have done so, I have also set out to monitor and research Rena and Dana from this position. A question. What is this great spirit of which you speak? Is it something that rules over your kind? Correct. The great astral spirit is a large mass of astral energy that fills all of Rena, one with its own will, a voice we cannot refuse. A voice? Just like Dana. The voice of the great spirit speaks to our hearts directly, and we have served it without question throughout the ages. Does that mean it was controlling your minds? Wait a second. Could this great spirit be the true sovereign of Rena? The true ruler of Rena. It could be the same thing that's controlling Volron. Wait, back up. You're telling us this great spirit of yours is the one that ordered you things to harvest the astral energy from Dana? I'm not sure I believe that. Why not? We've already made contact with the will of Dana back in the Wedge, and in the Forbidden Zone on Lenegas. If Dana has a will of its own, I don't see why Rena wouldn't. Maybe not, but think about what you're saying. If Dana has a will like Rena, then that would mean that we've been controlled by the voice of Dana this whole time, just like these things. Dana's will hasn't been forcing us to do anything. Yeah, but... Let's assume that what Hevrek 35 claims is true, and that we are indeed cut off from both planets. Even if we had previously been under the control of Dana's will, we would have noticed now that we are disconnected. Your fear is not based in logic. The voice of Dana is much smaller and quieter compared to that of Rena's great spirit. Rena's astral energy is amassed at its center, Got whereas it. Dana's is shared among all its constituents. So thinly is that energy spread that it cannot coalesce and formulate a will. Our findings here indicate as much. Which explains why we felt its will where we did. The Wedge and Lenegus are where so much of that energy had been accumulated. The Great Spirit's desire is to consume all astral energy. And the pursuit of that desire is why you see Rena as a result. It has... Is that why the Crown Contest is necessary? Indeed. And it was oh. to that end that we Helganquil devised the Crown Contest. Had the initial spirit channeling from 300 years ago succeeded, Damn. all of Dana's astral energy would have been seized. <sighs> but the ceremony failed. Lenegus was severely damaged, and you lost both the Sovereign and the Renesalma. Correct. A change in plan was required to ensure the spirit channeling success. That is why we... So that was the real purpose behind the Crown Contest. An efficient means to harvest the necessary energy from Dana. I mean, this is all I still have a planet because of you. So. You still haven't answered one of Alfin's original questions. Just why have you brought us here to your base, Hevrek 35? First, it was to confirm the identities of you, my unexpected visitors. Second, it was to ascertain whether you would be likely to accept my request. A request? But what could someone like you want us to... I wish for you all to slay the Great Spirit. Done in rings. I'm sorry, did you just ask us to kill your master? I did. It is in your best interest that you do so, I might add. What makes you say that? Lenegus has entered the final stage of the spirit channeling plan. As we speak, Dana's energy is being harvested en masse and transmitted to Rena. If nothing is done about the Great Spirit, it will not be long before all is lost. 
You're saying the destruction we saw earlier is just the beginning? That... We won't let that happen. Why do you want us to kill the Great Spirit so badly? Is it to save our world? To free you, Helganquil, from under its control? Why? No. My primary concern is validating our findings and analysis, which have taken many years to realize. As such, it is my desire to see how your actions impact and change these systems. However, I will not deny that vengeance also plays a part. Is he part. banished? Vengeance? For what? In spite of our long service to the Great Spirit, our species is on the brink of extinction. So they are species. They're not like you a mean product. You're dying? At this stage, it would be wise for you to talk with the others. Ask them what you need to know. Once you have your answer, return to me. If you agree to help, I shall fix your ship. Others? Just how many of you are there? I am the only Helganquil who inhabits Dake Faisal. Fantasy ass fantasy names. Hey! Hey! It's no use. I think it's done talking to us. Let's take a look around. Okay. Yeah, others. You can't seriously be buying anything that creature told us, right? I mean, it's practically black. To be honest, the conversation went on for so long, I'm not sure I understood all of it. How? At the very least, everything it said about the Renin Great Spirit adds up. That being said, had we not previously encountered the. The spirit of Rena wants to see Dana completely. But why? Astral and. It doesn't matter. I don't care if we're up against an entire world or what its game is. We're not going to let it destroy. Right. There is one other... Th how the Great Spirit, the Helganquil, and the Crown Contest are all part of a centuries-long plan is clear enough. But what about the Renans? How do they fa... Oh, now that you mention it, and all that talk, Hevrek 35 never even brought up the Renans once. And as for the Helganquil, we never did find out just what they are. Maybe it had yeah, a that's reason true. for keeping it silence. I, I want to know if they're, out. like... Mechanical in nature or biological? Because, like, are they wearing like a suit? Are they like a brain in a jar kind of thing? You know? I'm very, very curious as to like what they are. Okay. In door number one. Why is this going to be upper deck? Wow. That's the fucking view we had? It's kind of impressive we figured out what the hell was going on to begin with. That shit's far. Okay, uh... Lower area we can go to now. La Madine. Okay. What's behind us first? Any sparklies? No, I had to make sure. Okay. Uh, there's people here. Who are they? Hmm. W what is it? Oh, my apologies. Are you a Renan? <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hmm? The Overseer told us to answer any questions you might have. Whatever you want, but be quick. Our subjects are undergoing a dramatic... What a weird... He must have meant Hevrecht 35. And what was that about okay, subjects? Yeah, let's... There isn't anyone else we can talk about here. Let's converse. Have you guys lived up here in Dig Faisal? Yes. 
I couldn't tell you off the top. We regularly go into stasis, so Damn. our sense of time has gotten rather out of whack over the years. Why are you all even here? Originally, this station was where we worked to perform maintenance on Lenegas from the outside. We heard that the facility ended up in its cur- Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> Apparently, there was some kind of accident, and when help never arrived, they presumed the entire facility had- And you've been working for help? Well, at first we thought that there was nobody else inside the facility. What do you mean? The Helgan Quill have the technology to cloak them. As long as they don't right, do anything obvious, sense. a Renan won't see one, even if it's right in front of them. Which would explain why Xion and I failed to notice the Red Women previously. Do they employ an astral- I haven't been able to scientifically confirm it for myself, but from what I understand, the type of cloaking they use is primarily achieved through mechanical means. In addition, they also used hypnosis devices and information control to get us to do what they wanted without being detected. It's a pretty sophisticated yeah. operation, especially since it avoids any unnecessary conflict. I have to imagine that's how Lenegas is still run. But aren't the Helganquil themselves controlled by the Great Spirit? If so, why aren't Renans affected by it in the same way? The Great Spirit's mind control only works on Helganquil, so they had to employ other means to manipulate us Renans. You act like this didn't affect you personally. If I was you, I'd be mad as hell at their deceptions. I mean, sure, I was surprised when I first found out about it, but it happened so long ago. Everick 35 has clearly ceased concealing itself, though. Why is that? Who can say? My guess is it just got bored, or maybe even a little lonely. Don't you want to go back home to Rena or Lenegas? Our ship is going to be fixed pretty soon. You could ride with us. No way. If we went back after knowing the truth, what they'd these either just eat? brainwash us or purge us outright. After all this time, there's nothing to be gained from going back. We've all agreed it'd be best to simply stay here and watch everything unfold instead. Things are going just fine with the Overseer. Not that it'll be around much longer. It can't extend its life any further. That said, I'm sure it's pleased mm -hmm. to see the final stage of the plan so, before it passes on. Thank you for answering. I'm assuming these guys are around 300 years old. What other big accident could it be? You know? the thing can we talk to you for a few minutes sure it's going to be a while before the two planets undergo their next shift so I can talk until then please tell us what you know about the Helgan Quill you mean the overseer species I can't say I know much about them well for starters where'd they come from <laughs> Where else? From Rena, obviously. From Rena? Wait, are you telling us those things live right alongside the Renans down there? Of course not. Oh. There's really no such thing oh. as Renans oh. in the first place. Excuse me? Oh, I thought the Overseer... Apparently not. Please, tell... Well, in a nutshell, the Renans were originally created <laughs> from <laughs> Danans <laughs> by the Helganquil. <laughs> okay... I'm intrigued. <laughs> but if that's true, then that would mean there aren't any people. There aren't. But there are Helganquil. That's what the name literally means in their language. But what need could they possibly have to create a whole new race of- It was a way to bolster their dwindling workforce. I trust you're aware that the Helgan- In essence, we were created to carry on their work for the Great Spirit after they all die. They gathered Danins who had an affinity for astral arts and proceeded from there. That's why we, as their descendants, can all cast arts, albeit to varying degrees. Let me get this straight. Are you saying Renans were originally created from Danins that the Helganquil kidnapped? Wait, that explains why almost nobody can use astral arts on Dana now. Helganquil technology is truly amazing. The way they all- They have these tiny machines that are practically invisible. Enough! How can you speak so- I guess I can see how, when viewed in a certain light, their ways may sound grotesque. But if you ask me, I think they ultimately did us a favor. If it meant their hands had to get a little dirty in the process, then so be it. 
Anyway, the Helganquil are the real Renans. Personally, I don't think it's such a big deal. They're also mostly the ones behind what you see going on between the two planets. I think that cut. I see. Does he really expect I mean, us I did, to believe that Renan is weird how existed. it's like these are two different oh, species, but Dohan. they're both human. Just when I think we're getting to the bottom of it all, it is a little new weird. revelation smacks us in the face. Well, there's one more person I gotta talk then to. Let's hope right? this is our last revelation for a while. Yeah, the fucking the main old man. Do you know anything about a spirit channeling plan? If you mean the first plan from 300 years ago, then yes. Do you know what its main objective was? Yes. It was to use Lenigus to siphon off Dana's astral energy. There we energy go. And Fuck, send it sorry. To Rena. Exactly. However, there were two problems we had to consider. First was how to collect and send such a large quantity of astral energy without it becoming sentient. Second, we had to figure out how to convert Dana's energy so it would be compatible with Rena. I take it the solutions to those problems were to use the wedge for the collection, and then the sovereign and maiden to convert the energy. We have a winner. However, the first plan failed when the sovereign was overwhelmed and became frenzied. <sighs> The reason for that is because the Maiden lost control. I'm told he slaughtered many Renans in Helganquil that day. <sighs> for the next plan, we tried to recreate the Renis Alma, but we didn't have nearly enough of the other non-dark astral energy types. To amend that, we set our sights on Dana, and implemented a system whereby we could extract energy from it. And the Crown Contest began. Correct. Since the Maiden had been the failing point in the previous plan, it was decided to replace her role with machinery to avoid further mishaps. A new Sovereign had to be made as well. It was such tremendously difficult work, its success was dubious. But from the look of things, it would appear such worries were unfounded. So that's what the purpose of that room we found in the Forbidden Zone was. What about the flower that sprouted from Rena? Flower? Oh, that thing. That's the physical manifestation of all the astral energy that's been harvested from Dana. As I'm sure you've noticed, it's quite a lot of energy. At this point, it's likely that it's become physically integrated with Rena's planetary structure. Hevrek 35 mentioned that the spirit channeling plan is entering its final stage. Is that true? It is. I never thought I would live to see the day with my own eyes. And yet here we are. Are we done talking now? If it's all the same to you, I'd really rather not miss anything that's about to happen. He talks like the potential end of the world is just another day on the job. You've got to remember that these guys have been living alone up here for a long time. Who knows what shape their minds are in. <sighs> Feels like our whole world has been turned upside. Seriously, I'm still trying to process. Let's take a moment. I know all of this is a lot to believe. Agreed. Everything that's happened. And to get that energy, then the Helganquil created the Renans. Plus. <laughs> Either way, I think it's fair to. Why don't we all take some time to think? Th that's a good idea. If the Renan Great Spirit really is behind all, because it's not just Dana on the line, but Rena too. So let's go ahead and break off for now. You sure you don't want to be I could ask you this I figured I'd get all my thinking in while walking around and I'll go along with you sounds good everyone's just well their certainly own way, huh? shocking yeah let's hit up each spot we'll say I think Alfin would be very traumatically uninclined everything we thought we knew Right. Well, if the names are anything to go by, it's possible that... But if Hevrek 35 was telling the truth, and this was all just one massive lie, does that mean every... No, I don't think so. Really? Hmm. Well then, if... Make one. Well, the higher powers have shown their face. Oh, there's more people. How do they eat? Oh, it's you two. 
Does he seem like he's doing any better now? He who? I know that we're all struggling to wrap... What do you think about it? On some level, I'm not even really sure what to think, to be honest. I mean, but if that thing's hellbent, as for the Renans, I... How so? Coexistence between Danans and Renans and Menencia is, in my case, okay. I think that yep. so... You kept it... You mean... But... I know you're already aware of this. But the list of grievances the Danans have against the Ren... And... If people then find out that they're all actually one... Even just among the Danans. I'm sure there'll be some... I think if we can find a way to get rid of that... Well, first... Yeah. It's no small task. We can... Right. In a worst-case scenario... And we all have to figure out... That's an interesting way of putting it. It's true. Everybody... It won't be achieved, but I think it's a good first step. And now, I think I see a way to move forward. Yep. But to do that... Sure. First... It looks like a dr like a weird dreidel. He both see <laughs> only because. How are you holding up, Ringwell? <laughs> yeah, I get this sinking feeling whenever I remember how Dan and mages like my family were pers. <sighs> but I was thinking, if Renans end up living together with Danans again, then mages won't be such an. Un <laughs> I know it. Danans probably won't be so quick to let their guards down. It wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. I know firsthand just... But even so, I was still able to change. So I was thinking maybe... I don't know. I could... Run well. That great spirit work... Dana's will feels so... Now that you mention it, Everick 35 and the other scientists here never really mm, brought okay. that up. Maybe. We won't. These are kind of just like skipping the same beat a little bit. So I'm just going to... Skim through these last two. A little bit. I still. You're not the only. One. Really? You've. Did you forget what happened? It was really that. Yeah, it was. But thanks to Law and everybody. Man, I think. Law. I was too worried about repeating the same. That was no way to live. But all this talk about other rape. I know this is going to sound strange coming from me, but. Oh? I used to worry all the time about my thorns, for obvious reasons. And when I realized my visions pointed to a threat that was... But that's when I finally got it. In other words, if you... The thing that's most important, all I want to do is protect... Not everyone. Huh? It's something your dad... Law, you know you're strong enough to forget all the bigs... Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's like a fight to protect the... And one more. Dolaman. I apologize for- You mean hearing the origin? Indeed. It's shocking to have so many things- Even I'm still not sh- Let's not delude ourselves. Hmm. <laughs> I can only imagine that you must have been constantly feeling like this. Ever since your memory returned- That's just part of the- Ah, uh, to say the least. But enough about me. I'm not concerned for myself. When you say the other Renans, you mean the one- Correct. Even if we stop the Great Spirit from putting aside the untold state that Rena may be in, if we do not... Tr so, I guess you're... And at the same time, Danans are hardly likely to embrace Renans with open arms. If there is, after all, three centuries worth... And the yep, okay. Of our I mean, I we, we, we know all of this. I don't know why the game insists on telling us this, like, indeed. five fucking times on in a row. Note, no? What is I wish for you to serve as a mediator so that the Renans can as the one and, and I take it that yes However, the fact of the matter is that it will take time for Renans to re-enter <laughs> Is it too? No, relax <clears throat> You're too kind That's some high Then I'll ask okay. once again Okay, good lord this like, time, yeah, like, You don't even need on. Thank you Well, it sounds What about you, Shia? To be honest, right now How do you because for a really, really long time, Come on. I thought I'd die. I would. It's been. It was Naor. How it felt. I don't think Naor. She considered me a Danon. I don't think she wanted the world to be saved just so they could go back to hurting each other. Oh. Huh? When we were talking to Kisara earlier, uh, she said that the first step down that path was for each of us to. That means forgiving other people. Forgiving. So it. Go yeah. If we have any you know, fucking snore, man. Oh my god, shut up. Yeah. 
Well, there. Si yes. Literally been like an hour of nothing but you guys fucking talking. Well, is everybody ready to do? I am. I don't care who. We're what are your thoughts, Al? Like Law said, it's trying to rob that alone. But it's not only. You're saying there's. A You're referring. Yeah. And to hear Shion tell. Indeed. And if Rena's great. Shion's thorn. We don't know anything. While the main body. <sighs> Shion. If these thorns really are a part of Rena's great spirit. The question is, how suffice it to say, the wedge and Lenny, and we only know about the. Th Heverick thirty-five has been observing the. It wouldn't ask us to okay. fight it unless it has Good a plan of. Fuck God. Okay, let's skip through this too. Our minds are made up. So if the Sovereign and Maiden were originally... Even with the Forbidden Zone in ruins, and the Renis Alma stolen, Lenegas is functioning fine. If it needed us before, it doesn't appear to... First they lumber you with a position you never asked for, then you're discarded like you're nothing? Who the hell do they... More importantly, who do they think we are? We might not even factor into their list. I just hope everyone on Lenegas... Worst comes to worst. Lenegas... Wait, exp In any case... If we're truly going to make a difference. Right. Okay. There we go. Uh, very, very talk heavy and very cool lore. But, like, just the fact that it just, like, five times in a row. Oh, wow. I'm shocked this happened. Oh, yeah. Me too. Like, fucking five conversations back to back. It's a bit much. Ugh. But we're going to have to leave this episode here. And we're going to pick it right back up tomorrow. So, I'm going to see you in the next video. Fight to my outro yet again.